Hey guys, uh, thanks for clicking on the video. Um, today I'm going to do a review, well actually it's going to be a review and use of the Aqua Pail. Uh, just got these in the mail today and this is the 400 model which means it will filter 400 gallons. Um, I was actually uh, cruising the uh, videos on YouTube and came across the SHOT Show 2013 SHOT Show video of this product. Uh, I think it was featured at the SHOT Show there. And um, saw some videos on it and thought it was a pretty cool idea. So it's basically a bucket uh, that you pour water to in the top, filters through, and comes through the bottom. So these filters need to be purged. I'm actually on top of my rain barrel right now. There's actually one, another one down here that we had uh, purged. So um, you need to purge them to uh, get all of the kind of loose gravel and stuff that, need, that comes out. So we've already done one. Uh, I want to do another one here on film so you guys can see what we're going in. And I'm just doing it through my rain barrel. Um, I have a 55 gallon uh, rain barrel and I have it set up here and on the platform and uh, so you can see that and uh, then we'll do some taste test and show you guys what's going on so hang in there one other thing I'd like to mention about this product it is made in the USA um, so any other reason to support this product there's another one made in the USA and this is the uh, the back of the box that uh, the uh, Aquapail comes in and you can see the directions are pretty simple. I'm sure they sell this uh, to different countries also. Alright guys, first things first, when you get this Aquapail there is a uh, red uh, button. It's like a lock here and you're supposed to push this in and turn to get this lid off and we have found that it's kind of a pain in the ass so we're going to get rid of that little fucker. So, Dad, go ahead, take that off. We found that it's just a pain in the ass. That's gone. That's trash. Okay. All right. So now that that red piece is off, go ahead and open that up. All right. Now you got packing uh, peanuts in there that need to come out. And then you're going to have a piece of cardboard under that, and that cardboard comes out, and then you're going to have a screen, and this screen here um, has got gravel and grit underneath of it, and that can be, um, when you guys, if you're doing a lot of nasty water, then you can take this out and clean it uh, between filtrations. Now, the, because this is brand new, this needs to be kind of purged. So um, the first few times or the first few gallons that you're going to use with this product, um, you know, and we'll show you as it filters out, the gravel and other stuff is going to come out of the bottom of it. So we're going to go ahead and get this hooked up and show you how it drains. It's supposed to uh, give you a gallon of water uh, in, I think, five to seven minutes. And uh, I will give you some specifics on the front of the uh, on the front of the pail here. Okay, hang in there. All right, guys. So here's the specifics on this. Um, I'll let you go ahead and read all that. Um, and it says, uh, you know, a gallon of surface water in about five minutes. Um, so, and this one, like I said, treats 400 gallons of water. Um, so, off with the test. Okay, so um, before you obviously start filtering water, you need to take the plug off the bottom. So we're going to take that plug out, and some debris and stuff may come out um, when you get that plug out. And then we can put that right over uh, a pitcher, which we're going to do right now. Okay, so I have a one gallon pitcher here, and actually this kind of fits inside of that pitcher. Um, now, obviously, uh, in this case, you're not going to be able to um, 
you know filter the entire gallon because that is sitting in there and uh, you know if you had something to set that on top of uh, so that it wouldn't go completely inside the pitcher that'd be fine but go ahead and uh, turn the rain barrel on and uh, we do a slow drip uh, on this and uh, you'll see that the water is just going to accumulate on the top there um, move it over dad so it's kind of in the center there you go. Dad's helping me with the video today. So you'll see, we just kind of do a steady drip from the rain barrel. So do the math on this, guys. You got uh, 400 gallons, and this uh, cost $100. Okay, and a lot of people are like, man, that's a lot of money for what it is. But if you break it down, it's 25 cents a gallon. Um, and here's the thing. I mean, you can stock as much water, you know, I can have 55 gallons on a rain barrel. Uh, I can have another 50 or 70 gallons inside, two liter bottles. Uh, I got all kinds of water storage, but at some point, water's going to run out. And if water's totally run out and you have no way of cleaning new water, 25 cents isn't a lot of money to spend a gallon uh, if you need you know you need fresh water so I think the cost is you know for what it is I understand a lot of people maybe might make their own um, but you can see the bottom of the pitcher here where it's dripping through it's got a pretty good flow rate um, and the water's not accumulating on the top right now you know, and that's a pretty good steady system that we have. Now, if we turn the water on uh, and gave a little bit more water pressure through that, then that's going to just overflow the top. So, kind of a slow, slow, steady uh, drip uh, stream really works out well. You can see that's filling up there on the bottom. So, once this gets filled up, I'll show you what's in the bottom of the pitcher, uh, you know, from purging this. And we're going to do it again and show you uh, what's in the bottom of the pitcher after we do that. Okay. Alright. So we filtered uh, all the way up to the bottom of the container. And it's still draining a little bit. So uh, go ahead and pull that out. And uh, we'll show you what's in the, uh, what's in the bottom of the, uh, the pitcher here. Now you see that water still draining out of this product here. Um, but anyway, well, this one didn't hardly have any, Dad. Yeah, it's good. So you can see this is pretty clear water. There's not a lot of gravel or anything in this right now. So we're going to go ahead and just toss this water into the plants and keep purging. And you can see it's still dripping. All right, this is the second go around uh, of purging this guy. And one other thing, they make all different kind of models of this. This is the smallest model they make. Um, they make one up to a five gallon bucket, which does, I believe, 5,000 gallons. I don't know the cost of that one. I think it's 500 bucks, but don't quote me on that. Then they have a couple other uh, ones in the middle, and uh, they vary in price. But uh, just, you know, the small one here for 400 gallons, I think is a decent little product. So now that uh, this is the second go around, I'm going to actually do a little taste test on this one. And uh, it seems like this one's draining pretty clear. When we did the first one, because um, we had two of these, uh, my dad has one for him. Um, you know, some gravel came out of the bottom of that one. Um, wasn't much, but it did come out. And this one doesn't seem that that's having an issue. So I guess it just depends on how these things are packed or shipped or whatever. And again, having a 55-gallon rain barrel. This, uh, this rain barrel actually filled up for me um, after I got it set up. And with the gutter up there, I'm not standing up, so it's not, you can't see the top. But I... After two rainstorms, and they weren't, you know, severe thunderstorms or anything like that, uh, I had my rain barrel full. And then I have an overflow valve that goes over here and just drains. 
All right, well this is the second one. This one's done. Um, it's filled up. So we're gonna pull this out and I'm gonna do a taste test. All right, now I realize this is just rainwater and it's, it's clear anyway. Um, but you can see there's no debris or anything in there. It's all filtered out. Um, so now it's time to give it a swirl. Give it a give it a couple drinks. See what happens. All right. All right. So uh, doesn't have any particular odor or anything like that. And again, I know this is just rainwater. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a test. Has no aftertaste. Um, doesn't have a chemical or a plasticky or anything type of aftertaste. Aftertaste. I'm really, um, really impressed with that. All right. Good.